Hi, my name is Becca Buckaloo. Welcome to my garage. Today, we are gonna be going over how to do the Bulgarian split squat. All you need is a bench or a chair or something to elevate your foot. Let's learn how to do split squat. Three things you need to do in order to do the split squat effectively. First, we are going to elevate our back foot, the foot that's gonna be not working. All this is doing is creating a point of balance for us. So you're actually trying not to put any weight in this back foot. It's just a stabilizer. Two options here. You can put your foot flat on the bench or the box, whatever you're using, or you can put your toes up. I tend to like to have my, uh, my foot more supported. So I put my foot flat on the box here. In part of doing a Bulgarian split squat, your knees are gonna come over your toes. So you don't wanna sit way back here. You don't wanna be way far forward. You want your knee to come over that front big toe and that little toe. So when you're going down, you should be able to still kind of see your toes, but maybe sometimes you lose sight of them. So knees track right over the toes. You might have to hop forward and back uh, to find what, what your stride is. And then at this point you would grab weights. So if you're gonna use weights, come off the ground safely and then pick them up and do your squat. Third key to doing a Bulgarian split squat, you're gonna move up and down, right? So you don't really wanna be moving forward and back. You wanna be moving up and down. What we're trying to do with a split squat is isolate the front working leg, right? So this is a quad, glute, core activated movement really able to isolate those muscles when you put all your weight in the front leg which is why they suck which is why they burn so good that's why you see those booty gains right to put all your weight in that front leg and then we're moving up and down nice tight core up and down nice tight core up and down if you want more of a challenge bring your toe up right so there's less weight in that foot up and down. You really want to keep your hips level when you're going up and down. Three things that you need to remember when you're doing the Bulgarian split squat. You're elevating the back leg, the non-working leg, right? Our balance leg. We put it here. The second thing, you are going to have your knees come over your toes. So you either have to hop up forward, hop back, find that sweet spot for you, right? Knees over the toes. And then the third thing, probably the most important thing, you're moving up and down with all that weight in the front leg, right? Pushing through the ground. You really wanna think push through the ground. So if I'm super strong, technically I should be able to bring this leg up, but I'm not a ballerina, so I won't do that. Those are the three things that you need to remember in order to do a Bulgarian split squat. This is a great exercise to build your legs, your glutes, your core. I mean, it is the leg finisher or the leg starter. Everybody should have it in your arsenal. Do not be afraid to try these. You absolutely can do these Bulgarian split squats. If they're intimidating, the first thing that you should do is make sure you can do them without weights. Don't add weights on until you have perfect form and perfect posture because you can get hurt. Available, if it's too intimidating to do them on the box right away, do them on the ground. It's the exact same concept, just on the ground. You remain in that split squat and you move up and down. I really, really, truly hope if this was helpful, my goal is to help everybody be safe and stronger and doing the exercise correctly. Tell me what you wanna see. I'd love to help you in the way that best, best helps you. So let me know how I can do that. All right, have a great day.